So in uh, the 2018 AP Calculus free response question one, uh, we're given the, the function for the rate of change at which people enter uh, on an, enter an escalator. So part A asks us how many people enter uh, the line for the escalator on the interval 0 to 300. So to do so, uh, all we have to do is find the integral from 0 to 300 of this function up above, which is R of T. Um, and if we plug in the value, it gives us this. Now, if we just plug that into a calculator, uh, the integral is equal to 270 people. Uh, so there you go. That's the answer for part A. Uh, part B, it asks how many people are in line at time t equals 300. So um, the number of people in line, basically the antiderivative of R of t, um, is going to be how many people have entered. Uh, then we have to find how many people have left, which is this part right here. And we also have to have the initial component, uh, how many people are at time equals zero. So they're giving us at time equals zero, there's 20 people in line. Now we have to find the integral from zero to 300 um, of R of T, which gives us how many people have entered. And the integral from zero to 300 of 0.7, which is how many people have exited the line. And if we just, uh, it gives us these values and we end up with 80 people in line at times t equals 300. Um, part C asks us when is the first time that there are no people in line for the escalator uh, when t is greater than 300. So um, we basically want to find when the t uh, plus 300 uh, when it's equal to zero. Uh, and basically we just have to find, we know that at time t equals 300, there's 80 people in line. And it's the amount of people in line is decreasing at a rate of 0.7 7 people per minute. Um, so we just have to find equal of this equation is 0, which um, once we simplify it, we have t equals 114.268 minutes after t equals 300 which is equal to 414.286 minutes uh, as our t value. Part D, it asks us when, at what time t is the number of people in line a minimum? Um, and uh, to justify our answer, so we want to know when uh, f of t right here is at a minimum. And if we just graph it out, uh, we find that our minimum is at 33.014. However, we can't end there saying that that's the minimum. We also have to test the other candidates, uh, which will be the uh, extremums. So the extremes are 0 and 300, and we also have to test at 33.014. Um, so if we just plug that into our function up above here, f of t, uh, we end up with a value of 20 people at time equals 0, 4 people at 33.014, and 80 people at time t equals 300. So we can observe that our minimum occurs at 33.014, um, because that's when the value is less, the least. Um, and by the candidate test, we can conclude that the minimum occurs at that time. Thank you.